guys, NGS here, and it's time for vlog number 20, 20, 28, and I don't have enough fingers for this. I'll just do this trick I learned when I was in second grade. You go like 10, 10, and then 5, 6, 7, 8, like, you know, just to represent 28. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but anyway, I'm just here today, you know, enjoying Marvels of Summer. It's July 9th so far, and, um, wow, it's, <laughs> wow, I'm enjoying summer, um, um, there was something I wanted to say, like, my sleeping pattern is so screwed up now because I stay up till, like, maybe 10 a.m., I go to sleep, I wake up 7 p.m., so <laughs> it's kind of screwed up, but, uh, you know, who cares, it's summer vacation. Um, I know for a fact I'm gonna have to fix this because I'm going to go see, uh, what's that movie called, Harry Potter and the uh, Half-Blood Prince, um, with my friends on opening day, so I really have to, we're leaving, I think, around maybe 7 or 8. It's next week. Oh yeah, it's the day before my birthday. Wow. July 16th is my birthday. Um, still don't know what I want for it. So before I get into the actual topic I want to talk about in this video, um, just one quick thing. I'm thinking about starting my own, um, a bridge series of an anime. You guys probably, you may not know this anime, but, um, some of you do. Um, it was dubbed by Genion Pioneer a couple years before they closed. Um, and I think it's a cool anime. Um, I saw the original fansub version when fansubs used to come out on VHSs, um, and I thought it was a cool anime. And so you guys probably know, have you ever heard of an anime called Fushigi Yugi? Right there, Fushigi Yugi, and you guys can't see the name. Yeah, a great anime, it's about 50 something episodes. Um, I was watching the entire series, I was up at 4 a.m., I was like, oh, you know, I feel like watching this. So, I sat down watching, as I was going along, I was like thinking of alternate things they could say. So, I might make an abridged series on that where I do all the voices, because I, I have to actually write the script down. It, was, it sounded all great in my head, but now I just have to rewatch it again so I actually remember what I was going to say. Um, but yeah, so I might be making this in a couple weeks, maybe. So I think it's a pretty cool idea, and um, just tell me if you guys want me to make an abridged series of that. Um, also, I want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed to my backup account, Next Gen Naruto. Um, I'm just saying for all you other guys, can you just please subscribe to that account, friend that account. That's the account I'm going to upload tons of gameplay of Naruto stuff like <clears throat> um, special attacks from like EX2, EX3, Revolution 2, Revolution 3, videos like that. Um, and I just want all you guys to subscribe to that account because that's my gameplay account. This account's for vlogs and stuff. So there's no reason that this account would get suspended if... It, it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, if my next gen Naruto account got suspended, I mean, there are some reasons, um, TV Tokyo. Um, but just for some reasons, if this account gets suspended, um, I'll go on to that account. But I'm, I'm doing pretty well with this account. Um, I'm at 747 subscribers. I know the, the, the account will rise later. Um, but yeah, um, the new Naruto manga came out, and people ask me if I read, and I say, no, I don't read. I don't read scanlations, you guys, because this is the main topic I want to talk about. Um, please, somebody, dear God in heaven, answer the question, why is it okay to watch a fan sub? Just, like, write your comments in below. And people, don't argue about it on my page, because I want to answer them in my next video. So basically answer why you think it's okay to watch a fan sub on the internet instead of buying the DVD. Just answer that question, um, and I'll... Be back to answer it in vlog 29. Just randomly off topic, I really think that Nintendo should stop making Pokemon games. Honestly, just click flat out. Um, because Diamond and Pearl was a big success, and now they're remaking Gold and Silver, which was kind of in the plans a couple years ago, but it's cool they're remaking it now. But honestly, where can they go after Diamond and Pearl? I mean, the anime, it's over. I mean, it's the same. It's like 600 episodes of the same thing. A 10-year-old boy wanting to become a Pokemon master. That's never gonna happen. Haven't you ever noticed? I stopped watching it in 2003, and then I I started again when I watched Diamond and Pearl, and then I just stopped like a couple months later because the plot is so stupid. It is the same thing over and over again. What makes this like good? I mean, the kids that watched it back then are older, they're like my age, and the kids that are watching it now are like, probably, a, who watched it like, maybe 2003, they're like a, like, I don't know, it's just, it's getting older and the plot's really becoming stupid. I don't know why they just keep 
dragging this out. Just end it already. End Pokemon Nintendo. They can't make another Pokemon game because then they're gonna have to make more Pokemon designs and come on, you already have like 500 of them. Ugh, wow. And then you're gonna add like maybe another 100? Seriously, why? It's so stupid. And me and my friend, Ninetale Naruto 98 I put his name at the top because <laughs> he got so mad at me last time in my Vlog 24 because I put names for my other friends and I forgot to put one for his and he got pissed. No, but we're really good friends in um, real life. We used to go to the same school and then he moved, but um, me and my friend Ninetale Naruto 98 we were talking on the phone and we came up with this plan how Nintendo should have made their first Pokemon game for Wii. We were thinking sort of like, you know, the other games called CM XD, Gale Darkness. Um, we were thinking something along the lines of basically you're in an open world universe. Um, and you basically you run around, you have your Pokemon with you. And when you get into Pokemon battles, like you can actually move with your Pokemon. Like you can run around and you can like send, let's say your Pikachu, send lightning bolts and stuff and activate those type of attacks. And then you like you throw your we well, don't throw your Wiimote. You just go like that to throw your Pokeball to catch them. It's just some and like your Pikachu, it, it would be like right by your side if you're walking. And if you're in the forest, you can see a Pokemon will jump out and attack you. That's what I think Pokemon should have been for the Wii. It would have been a great title. Yet Nintendo acted stupid and made this Battle Revolution crap. And which that was the it was not fitting for the first Wii game for Wi-Fi. Just saying that. Um. So, they should have made a Pokemon game like that, and now they probably can't, because, you know, Pokemon's dying. And they're, they, you know what, they should make um, a shipping game for PS3 and 360. Now, I'm thinking they are going to make one for PS3, because Japan, they haven't been making any games since 2007. For Naruto, um, you know, PS2, PlayStation. Um, so I think they're holding it out, and they're going to bring it out at the Tokyo Game Show 2009, which is August or September. Um, so I think that's a cool idea if they make a ship it in Storm because everyone's been waiting for that. And the cool thing about that, if there is some sort of delay in the time it comes from America to Japan, which I highly doubt there will be a delay because America and ship it in are like this now, except with the anime. Uh, if there is a delay, you can just import it because the PS3 is region free. So that's one of the cool things and that's why I probably would want to buy it. If the PS3 was region free with PS2 games, that's it. I'd be set. I'd buy a PS3 like no tomorrow. So if they made that game, it'd be cool. And the whole thing, like, if they make a shipping game for 360, um, it'd be a pretty cool idea. I mean, like, you know, just running around the entire Leaf Village and actually running to the Sand Village and stuff. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Um, kind of interesting to see. And I think the, the okay, and there have been so many arguments about, hey, what are you doing there? No, 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 no. Okay, good. I'm sorry, I was just talking to my little kitten because she's trying to climb onto the, um, the couch and I just told her not to because, you know. <laughs> oh, here, where, where is she? Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, no, she doesn't want to play. Um, so anyway, there have been arguments about the whole Revolution 3 storyline and stuff like that saying, oh, it should go past the Rescue Ar Gar arc. Well, in my opinion, it should just stay at the Rescue Gar arc because look at this, you guys. Okay. If they put, let's say, all the Sasuke arc in this one game, it'd be essentially EX2, but with Wi-Fi. Now, I think the reason why they're only putting Rescue Gar arc is because they want something else for the next game. Like, if they put the Sasuke arc and the, um, the Hidankatsu arc in the game, that'd be a pretty cool feature. Um, because you'll have more story. Now, the way Japan did it, the first DX game was half of the Rescue Gar arc, second one was the whole Rescue Gar arc plus the Sasuke arc, the third one was some lame excuse for the Hidan and Kakuzu arc, gay. Um, and so for EX4, now, I don't know if that new Naruto game for the 10th anniversary is EX4. Its graphics look pretty damn good for a Wii game. Um, so I'm not sure, it might just be a new Naruto type game. If America makes a Revolution 4, they're going to have more stuff to put in it, like, um, they could put the entire Rescue Sasuke arc and the Hidana Kakuzu arc in the game, because it'll give us actually more to put more for the game, because if you cram so much in, in the first game, what is there to expect in the second game? Because Japan, like, really, they're not, they, if they weren't in fillers, they would have gotten far, but right now... They're nothing where the manga is right now. They are nothing. It's going to take them a long-ass time to catch up. Um, 
And that's just because of the stupid idea that, oh, we want to put fillers in to bring up the suspense. You've tried this and failed with the first part of the series, 85 episodes. That is probably got to be a world record. 85 episodes of straight fillers. Like, are they, they're running out of ideas that... <laughs> wow. And then when Shippuden came, everyone's like, alright, no fillers, let's get to the manga. And then, like, uh, um, how many episodes later? Like... I don't know, 40 episodes later, we go back into fillers, and then we go back into fillers 10 episodes later, and I don't know, TV Tokyo, cut the filler crap, come on. Uh, so this is the end of vlog number 28, you guys, I had fun talking in this one. Um, so anyway, vlog 28, you guys, signing off, see you later. And no Zechariah Cloud, I did not hit you in the eye. <laughs> I'm sorry for that little random part, because um, I every time I do this spear gun, he is like, ow, oh, you hit me in the eye, oh my god. Damn, my cat's climbing the couch. All the way, it's a tall couch. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you later.